Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my first time trying a YouTube video so please bear with me. We are going to look at my solar PV system. In future videos we will then review how the system is performing using collective data. With that all said, hope you enjoy the video and let's begin. Let's look at the Sige Energy, Sige and Store battery. This is a scalable and on-demand ready solution. It's a unique modular and stackable design allows it to be truly scalable and flexible in configuration. You can connect multiple Sigen stores in parallel to meet your capacity needs. 1 to 6 battery modules, which are stackable 5 to 48 kilowatt hour capacity range per stack. In this current configuration we have 3 times 8 kilowatt hour battery modules which gives 24 kilowatt hour capacity. This stack also is made up of a hybrid inverter at the top. This model is a 6 kilowatt hour unit. Boosting Wi-Fi, Ethernet and 4G connectivity. There is also an RE optimized embedded machine learning built in making this state of the art. Next we have the Sigen EV AC charger. This is a single phase 7 kW AC charger with a type 2 connector. This is a demo trial unit with rear cable entry. Testament to Sigen for continued product development with feedback from installers. Also thank you to Skylar Solar for letting me have this as a test. The Sigen Energy Gateway, when used with Sigen Store, provides intelligent energy management and monitoring. It automatically detects outages and offers a seamless transition to backup power. Ensuring loads are supplied in the event of a power failure. You can track energy usage and control energy flow all with MySigen app. This reliable backup box ensures that your loads are supplied even in the event of a power failure. Now the solar PV. I have 19 panels installed for a total capacity of 9.34 kilowatt peak. This is made up of the following. 7, 460 watt peak. These are the front south facing. 12, 510 watt peak and these are the rear north facing. Both panels are AIKO Neostar 2S model. There is a single Tigo TS for AO optimizer mount on the front south facing far bottom left panel. This is due to shading. The mounting system is the Speed Flash flashing kit from Genius Roof Solutions. This is due to the property being a new build and using a slate-style tile. What's nice is this system allows a clean and safe cable entry. Black rails are fitted to help everything blend in. Just for a bit of fun this is a hyperlapse I filmed with my DJI Mini 4 Pro. It took the installers 24 minutes to install the panels between them. These are the rear-facing 12, 510 Watt Peak AIKO Neo Star 2S solar panels. The speed this goes together is really impressive. The all black finish look amazing. Finishing touches. This is the meter box with an incoming supply from the 100 amp fuse that runs to the smart meter. It then feeds to the fuse box labeled gateway main feed. There is a run from this to the gateway and a return from the gateway. The return from the gateway connects to the isolation switch labeled CCU isolation switch and the original tails for the consumer unit connect here. This allows should the system be removed to be reconnected as per when the property was built. Next is the ground rod as the system has the off-grid ability it needs its own earth away from the incoming supply. The black conduit down the side is for the PVDC cables. This makes for a clean neat and semi-hidden install. Here is an overview from the drone with all the panels now installed. Thank you for watching and my next video I hope to share the data. Goodbye.